गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू माइट बी सेफ एट होम स्टे होम स्टे सेफ टूडे आई एम हियर विथ पार्ट टू ऑफ द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ ऑफ नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड टूडे टॉपिक्स फॉर डिस्कशन आर एंडोसाइटोसिस एंड एक्सोसाइटोसिस सेल वॉल एंड इट्स फंक्शन प्लाज्मोलिसिस एंड प्रोटोप्लाज्म न्यूक्लियस इट्स पार्ट्स एंड फंक्शन साइटोप्लाज्म डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्रोकैरियोटिक and eukaryotic cells so let us see first topic is about endocytosis and exocytosis let us start with the endocytosis endocytosis is the process by which cell membrane helps the cell to engulf food and other material from external environment this is only due to flexibility of the cell membrane amoeba gets its food by endocytosis endocytosis is of two type one is phagocytosis and other is pinocytosis in phagocytosis cells takes in solid food material from the plasma membrane and in pinocytosis cell takes in fluid matter from the plasma membrane this figure shows about both type of endocytosis that is phagocytosis and pinocytosis you may here observe that in phagocytosis solid particles is taken in whereas in pinocytosis fluid material is taken inside the cell now next is about exocytosis it is opposite to endocytosis in this case waste material and other metabolic wastes are thrown out from the cell when metabolic waste are thrown out from the cell it is called as e phagy in the given figure you may observe exudation of material out from the cell that is throwing out of material out from the cell next is about cell wall and function of cell wall cell wall is the outer limiting membrane of plant cell why because in animal cell the outer limiting membrane is plasma membrane in plant cell in addition to plasma membrane there is another rigid outer covering called cell wall it lies outside the plasma membrane and in plant cell it is made up of cellulose but in fungal cell wall it is made up of chitin in bacterial cell wall it is made up of murine cell wall is non living function of cell wall is to give a uh, shape to the cell it uh, helps in giving rigidity to the cell and also provides mechanical strength it also supports the internal structure of the cell it also helps in protecting the cell from osmotic bursting and helps in expansion of cell now it is about plasmolysis and protoplasm plasmolysis is the result of exosmosis when a living plant cell loses water through exosmosis there is shrinkage of cell content of the cell away from the cell wall this phenomena of shrinkage is called plasmolysis protoplasm is the living component of cell it is colorless or slightly translucent and jelly like viscous semi fluid substances it can be distinguished into a centrally located nucleus and cytoplasm 
here you may observe the plasmolysis it can be easily observed under microscope when you place an onion pill in 20% sucrose solution or salt solution after 2 to 5 minutes cell will become plasmolyzed and can be again deplasmolyzed by putting plasmolyzed cells in distilled water next topic is nucleus it is the largest and most prominent structure of cell and can be easily observed under compound microscope which is already present in your laboratory of your vidyalaya generally one nucleus is present in each cell and it is present in the center of younger cell but it is pushed toward periphery in mature cell it is called governor of the cell why because it governs and control the cell nucleus is bounded by double layer membrane which have pores called as nuclear pores this is the figure showing electron microscopic structure of nucleus showing all its parts so let us study about different parts of the nucleus important parts of nucleus are nuclear membrane nucleoplasm chromatin network and nucleolus we will study one by one first is about nuclear membrane it is double layered that separates nucleoplasm from cytoplasm nuclear membrane consists of number of pores that helps in exchange of material between nucleus and cytoplasm it disappears during cell division second is about nucleoplasm nucleoplasm is the fluid which is present inside the nucleus it is also called as karyolymph it is a gel like then substance inside the nucleoplasm chromatin material and nucleolus are present so let us see about this chromatin network or chromatin material is entangled mass of thread like structures these thread like structures become organized during cell division to form chromosomes chromosomes are made up of dna that is deoxy ribonucleic acid and protein dna is called master molecule why it is called as master molecule as it controls all the activities of the cell functional segment of dna are called genes which control the character number of genes are present on the chromosomes chromosomes are considered as hereditary vehicle because it helps in transmitting the character from parent to offspring last part of nucleus is nucleolus it is spherical or oval body it is generally bigger in size in those cells which are actively concerned with protein synthesis nucleolus is more prominent in non dividing cells it contains large amount of rna and protein and also contains a small amount of dna let us see about different functions of nucleus nucleus helps in maintenance of cell and cell division it is required for transfer of characters from parent to offspring it also helps in controlling various cytoplasmic activities of the cell this is the electron microscopic structure of nucleus showing all its parts that is nuclear membrane or envelope chromatin network and nucleolus now the next topic is about cytoplasm the main component of cytoplasm is water containing fat 
protein, carbohydrate and various organic substances. It helps in exchange of material between cell organelles and the process of glycolysis takes place in cytoplasm. Cytoplasm takes little stain. Here you may observe the location of cytoplasm in the cell. Now, the last topic of this session is about differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. Let us see the size about the size. Prokaryotic cells are generally small 1 to 10 micrometer and eukaryotic cells are generally large that is 5 to 100 micrometer. About the nuclear region, it is not well defined and not surrounded by nuclear membrane which is called as nucleoid in prokaryotes whereas in case of eukaryotic cell the nuclear region is well defined and surrounded by nuclear membrane. What, let us see about chromosomes. In prokaryote, it is single and circular, whereas in eukaryote, more than one and linear. In case of prokaryote, membrane-bound organelles are absent, whereas in case of eukaryote, membrane-bound organelles are present. Let us see about the cell division. In case of prokaryote, it is simple by fission that is called as a mitosis. And in case of eukaryotes, it is by mitosis and meiosis. Nucleus, in case of prokaryote, it lacks true nucleus, whereas in case of eukaryote, having true nucleus. Let us see about the ribosome. In prokaryote, smaller in size and randomly scattered in the cytoplasm, whereas in eukaryotes, bigger in size and attached to the endoplasmic reticulum or freely present in the cytoplasm. Example of prokaryotes are bacteria and blue green alga whereas eukaryote the examples are plants, animals and fungi. This figure reveals about prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. So children this is all about today's session. Thank you. Have a nice day. For any kind of doubts, please write your questions in comment section.